Welcome everyone to Samuel Taps Online. On this video, I'm going to actually share with you techniques that you can use to become innovative and come up with ways that will help you to be productive and efficient. So join with me as I'm going to share with you ways in which you can be productive and your work can be very, very impressive. So we are going to work on Microsoft Excel and tackle all the things that you need to know so that you are a very good user of Microsoft Excel. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, click subscribe and also like and share so that other people can also learn from what you have learned today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. So today we are going to look at a question paper of final exam of computer practice N4, 2023 November. And when we check uh, the question paper here displayed on the screen, it says uh, we are going to use an invoice template. So when we look at 9.1, it says retrieve the spreadsheet saved as TB invoice in computer practice N4 folder. So the folder contained this file which i've opened already which is open already on the screen the file is open here now and then we are going to look at question 9.2 that is when we are going to start working 9.2 as displayed says as a footer key in your examination number left aligned and question 9 right aligned so when we work on the file as you start you are going to go to insert and then you are going to go to the right where you find header and footer and click it. So after clicking it, it, it activates the header and the footer at the same time. So but when we look at our instructions on the question paper, it said as a footer, key in your examination number left aligned and question nine right aligned. So what we are going to do, we are going to look at our spreadsheet and we will see header add header but now the question needs a footer so meaning that we are going to check which side of the footer we are going to type so now it said that on the left hand side we are going to type in the examination number in the footer and question 9 in the footer as well on the right hand side so when i click in the header here on the left hand side i can go to the tools and click where it says go to footer it will take me to the same position but on the footer side that is when now I can start to type examination number knowing that it is on the correct side as instructed by the question paper. So I'm going to type examination number. In your case, you will type your own ID number. On the right hand side, it's when we were supposed to type in question 9. So I click there, then I say question 9. So by now, you should know that when you type in the header and the footer, because it focuses on the footer section your work is still there in the in the uh, on the top of the screen or the page you just have to make sure that you can scroll up to see your work again so if i click on the tools and go to header there i can go up and check there when i click it takes me back to the header and that is when i can see the beginning of my work at the top of the page and when we check the question again here where it says uh, 9.3 save the spreadsheet as question 9 so meaning that this spreadsheet must be saved as question 9 i can just simply go to file and save the spreadsheet as question 9 so i'm going to save it quickly and save it as question 9 under the same folder where i got it question question 9 when I click save, obviously now there at the top, you can see that it says question 9, meaning that my file has been saved. And then now as I'm going to be working on this file, I, I don't want to work on it while I still see uh, my spreadsheet breaking like this. So I can just simply go to view and then click normal on the left so that I can be back to my normal spreadsheet. Uh, don't worry about the header and the footer. They are there. They will be available when you print out. Uh, you don't have to see it as you are working now when we look at our question paper again 9.4 says make all the changes as indicated on the spreadsheet and according to the instructions below so below meaning 9.5 where we are going to insert the following information on the invoice next to the correct headings so when we look at our work again here correct heading meaning that next to invoice here 
we are going to insert today's date so there's a way to insert today's date using the tools uh, from the uh, options there on the menu so what you can do now you can also put a function to insert a date for you which is equals to today and then you open and close the bracket without anything without putting anything in the bracket so if i press enter it will generate today's date you can see that it will read the date according to the computer or the day when you are writing the exam just like that so invoice number now we are going to type it as we see it from our question paper jd65678 okay and then now i go down where it says patient code is what we have the patient code is tb007 that is what we have from our question paper now when we look at 9.6 it says insert the following formulae or functions where the letters of the alphabet appear to do the calculations use cell references for all calculations where possible so now number a as you see in the question paper it says calculate it says that we have to calculate the total quantity multiplied by price so what we are going to do now we are going to go to the calculations here where we're going to calculate in total so total is calculated by starting with an equal sign you know how the function works on microsoft excel we start with equals to and then now we're going to multiply quantity with price so meaning that i should have the prices already appearing here before i can do the the calculations that is why they said we must fill in make sure that the spreadsheet changes according to the way we see it so how that how do we start now it means now we are going to look at the spreadsheet as displayed here on the screen and make sure that it is the same as what we have it matches exactly what we have so that every calculation that we'll be doing will be exactly according to what we already have on our question paper so now the values that we have to put in our on our spreadsheet uh, was the information under the invoice heading invoice number patient uh, code and then we also had to change the heading there jabulani dumani clinic uh, dumani clinic was uh, supposed to be changed to broadway size 12 so i click there and then i go to home and then i go and now change it to broadway broadway and then i change to size 12 and then when i change it to broadway size 12 you can see that uh, my spreadsheet also changes there according to the instructions that i've changed and then here where it says tb unit uh, i have to change it there to be uh, broadway 20 so i can go there to the uh, font and say broadway there it is broadway and then change there to 20 and then now you can see that my spreadsheet is changing as i continue and then now they say that i must apply a thick border uh, as indicated on my spreadsheet so meaning that around this text here i must apply a thick border around so i'm going to highlight this all together and go to the font there where i click a drop down and, and say thick outside border and also apply it here where it's indicated up until the end there and then apply a thick double border by clicking there and then now i have everything appearing just like that the way it's supposed to be and then when we continue now we can see that there are figures that were supposed to be typed there which is 1500 and then i also have 1200 and then below 1200 i have 3900 and then there it is but now these values in my question paper they are appearing with a value of rents they are appearing as currency with two decimals so i'm going to highlight all this together and then i'm going to go to home i go there where i see number i click the launcher there and then when the screen appears i change it to be currency and make sure that it's currency with two decimals there when i click ok i see that i have them appearing with rents as a symbol you don't type that r from the keyboard otherwise it will give you errors as you are trying to do calculations so now let's look at how we are supposed to do our calculations because that is our focus for today so now we are going to calculate this uh, equals to according to the question paper so we're going to start with equals to and then we're going to multiply quantity with price so i'm going to just click there 
and say multiply by which is not x from the keyboard but, but we are going to use a, a symbol for a multiplication which is an asterisk okay and then you are going to multiply by clicking the value which is money which is price and press enter then it will give you the total which is the answer then now i want this to be applied to all these uh, uh, three services as well so i go to the answer there put my mouse my mouse to be at the a, a dot symbol there you can see that it changes to be a plus bold sign that is a, a a sign to auto field so meaning that i can hold and drag down so that others can also calculate a, a the same using the same formula okay now when we look at our question paper there we can see that there is a calculation b calculation b said that we have to calculate the subtotal by adding all the total amounts so meaning that i will say equals to sum because this is a total for all amounts sum open bracket and i highlight all the three totals and i close the bracket and i press enter it will give me the answer which is a subtotal there now going to number c subtotal uh, less discount subtotal less discount and then it, say, it says subtotal minus subtotal multiplied by discount so when we look at our work here we are going to start by following the question paper as it is so meaning that we will say equals to and then we click subtotal minus because that is what we see in our question paper but now when we subtract we can see that there is a multiplication that will happen so we are going to put a bracket as indicated in the question paper as well and then we are going to actually subtract the subtotal which is a uh, going to be multiplied by discount so now we are going to click subtotal again and then multiplication remember that is the an asterisk and then we are going to uh, multiply it with discount of five percent and close the bracket and press enter that is our answer that we have the thirty-five thousand fifty-five friends and then now when we go to our um, um, calculation number d it says that we have to get the vet a uh, subtotal less discount which is um the vet subtotal less discount now when we go to the vet we are going to actually uh, multiply subtotal less discount by vet rate so what we are going to do is just to say equals to and then we click subtotal less discount and multiply it with 15 percent which is our vet rate and then we just press enter and we get 5258 and 25 cents as our answer because we just multiplied the two and then now our question number e says total payable total payable as we you can see now on the question paper it says that we must get it by subtotal less discount plus vet we are just going to add the two subtotal less discount plus vet so now meaning that we are just going to go to our spreadsheet and say equals to and then we are going to click subtotal less discount plus and then now this plus sign you just um, press the plus sign as it is and then we're going to add it with the vet value and then press enter so it will give us the total for the two amounts added together now f when we look at f there f as indicated it says that we must actually calculate number of blank cells so in our question paper it says number of blank cells and then they indicate from where to where a23 to g25 make use of a function display as integer with no decimals so now the blank cells are supposed to be calculated where we see the letter f so the letter f will be right there at the bottom so i'm going to click on our spreadsheet where we're going to calculate the blank cells and then i'm going to say equals to now for calculating the blank cells we are counting them so the function will be like equals to count blank so count blank there it is then you double click it and then in the bracket now it needs you to indicate the range from where to where in our question paper they have explained that is a23 to g25 so a23 starts from here on our spreadsheet to g25 when i go to g you can see that g uh, g25 now there i am and then i'm going to go down up until 25 so and then i will leave my mouse there where i have covered everything 
to to g now when i go to g g to h is matched on my spreadsheet so meaning that i have to make sure that this you can see that it's matched here when i highlight this g to i is matched meaning that g h i count as if it's one but now our formula says from a to g okay so now we are going to make sure that we don't have a matched cell here so i'm just going to go to my formula there at the bottom and backspace so that i don't have that problem anymore then i go to this where it's matched and i click match cells again to make sure that it's no longer matched then i go now to count put my formula again equals to count blank and then i go to a23 highlight to g25 there it is i23 i mean a23 i've highlighted to g25 now when i leave my mouse i close the bracket i press enter it will give me number of cells which are empty according to the range that i've calculated i mean i've uh, covered which is 21 blank cells in total now when we check here on our spreadsheet as indicated the picture is supposed to be changed as well and formatted so we are going to apply a soft edge over oval picture style to this picture and move the picture to be centered below the invoice so now i'm going to change this picture first to be a style which is called soft edge oval i'm going to click this picture and then we go to format there that is how we change it and then these are the picture styles so now for me to find a picture style according to as it is indicated on the question paper it has to be soft edge oval i'm going to expand the styles and look at the names as i move my mouse so obviously because it's oval you look for an oval so that you don't waste time in the exam you look for an, for an oval shape so obviously this is not an oval it's a rectangle so i i will move faster to be next to an oval so this is beveled a beveled oval black is not a soft edge so i go to another oval there it is soft edge oval there it is then i click it then now you can see that my picture also changes to be an oval which is a soft edge then they said i must move it to be center below the invoice then i can move it to be centered below the invoice there you can just drag and drop as long as you see that it's at the center at the center of the spreadsheet so this actually is towards the end of what we have to do if i scroll up now i will see that on the question paper they say that i must make sure that the headings the headings of my spreadsheet are in bold and i must make sure that the um the lines are actually displayed as indicated okay the lines are still there now i'm i'm just going to make sure that I make my headings to be bold by highlighting all of them click bold and then I'm going to make a double underline there okay then I go to underline I choose double underline and then there it is so that is how my spreadsheet will be looking like with all the calculations done and then now when I auto filled here for total you can see that it gave me extra lines which will cost marks for accuracy i have to remove these lines so for you to remove additional lines that you have done so you just make sure that you can er erase them with an eraser uh, that you use to draw the lines so if i go there after underline there where i find the border i can drop down until i find erase border and then click where the lines must be removed then you can see that everything now is clear and we have covered all the questions according to question 9. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share so that other people can also learn from what you have learned today. Thank you.